Hello everyone, I'm back. Well, I never really left, it just it has been a while since my last video where I showed you my very first product, the tripod mount for the Sigma 100-400 for the Canon and Nikon and, and Sigma mount. In the meantime, I've been busy developing additional tripod mounts and the reason now for this video is to show you the ones which I have made and I'm especially excited about the very latest model. Let me come to that in a second, but before I show you what I've done so far. From my maker I get the raw print in any color, whatever he has available. This one is the original one, this, my, original, my first product, the, the, Psych, the Sigma mount, the one on the forehand for Canon. Besides that one I have this lens mount here, it, it, they come in, in two parts originally before I glue them. Um, this is a tripod mount for the 18 to 35 mm by Sigma, the art lens, beautiful lens, which is actually not taking this video at the moment. Then I also have here this mount, after processing the, the material it, it ends up being white um, before I start finishing it. Um, this is the mount for the Sony 70 to 350G. And now people can pick a color for, for the tripod mount, um, it can be whatever they like. I have sold it in neon yellow, in red, in green, it looks uh, really cool in, in, in different colors. Uh, red is actually my favorite, but uh, people um, usually choose black because it matches the color of the lens, obviously. This one is um, the mount for Tamron 100-400, also quite common. And um, actually this particular lens is being shipped to Ireland tomorrow. I ship worldwide and I have sold to worldwide, worldwide and um, yeah, it's been quite a, a, a couple of years with that already. I've been approached by, by many potential customers uh, because they like my design, they like uh, that the, my tripod mount has two rings and it has, it has that handle and um, like that extra support that second ring gives um, and provides. So they ask me, hey, um, do you have the tripod mount for the new Sigma 100-400 for the Sony mount? Which is this one, it was released just uh, uh, a couple months ago, um, I think in 2020. And um, I had to delay and, and say, say, yeah, I'm in, it's in, the, in process, I'm planning, I'm working on it. It took me a while because Sigma did not make it easy for me to make a new tripod mount. It was uh, quite simple for the, for the sister model, for the others uh, 100 to 400. But for this one, there are a couple challenges. I come to that in a second. Um, Sigma makes for this one its own tripod mount. Therefore there's this rubber ring which you have to take off in order to put on the, the new tripod mount or also its own tripod mount. You also have to take it off to put on my tripod mount. Let me do that. Um, so here is one detail what makes it difficult here, these little wheels which support the tripod mount so that you can rotate it. And then there's this compartment with buttons which is basically in the way but uh, after some thinking and designing, I came up with a, a solution which makes me actually quite proud of my new tripod mount because it um, really makes it a, a good design um, for, for, for use with the shoulder strap, for, for instance, because the lens has no way to go once the tripod mount is mounted. So let me show you how to mount this new tripod mount onto this lens. My tripod mount, just like any other model, but before I mount it, let me tell you that, it has here um, 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 a thread for, for a tripod screw. Then here it, it, is, it has a quite slim ring in, in order to um, give room, make, provide room for the compartment for the buttons. The big ring here has a groove in it uh, so that the little wheels have room to, to glide in and also brand new, I'm thinking about adding that to my other models as well actually, that um, I make, I have here uh, markers at the zero degree position at the 12 o'clock position, at the upright position, 
that one you're going to need now. Because you will align that with the marker here where it says remove. So you have to look for remove in order to add this tripod ring. It's just like Windows where you have to click start in order to shut it down. So anyways, um, you put this on here, you align it with the remove marker, you pry the ring open gently to lift it over the, the, the button compartment here and then you click it on and then it will make a satisfying click and now the tripod mount is on. Once it's on, now you can twist it into the upright position and for that you align the markers of the ring with that zero degree marker of the lens and now you know it's in line. This is really cool now. That's why I'm, I'm thinking about adding it to the other lenses as well. Um, well. Let me think about that. So, once it's in position, now you can take the screw and you, you tighten it. And now you're good to go. Of course, if you want to shoot in portrait mode, you loosen that screw a little bit and now you can twist that ring or the lens inside the ring and now you can line up that white dot with the markers here of the tripod mount and now you're in portrait mode, 90 degree angle or you move it back. Once it's done, you tighten it and you to go. Here as you can see that ring is right behind the, the button compartment. That provides that additional um, support. There is no way that lens can go anywhere. Here the ring and, and the groove and the little wheels hold the ring in position. This one also provides additional support. Now you can use your shoulder strap if you, uh, if you have one. Um, and, and you tighten your belt here on that screw and, and this design is especially safe uh, for use with, with, with shoulder straps so this is really cool and uh, as, as all my tripod mounts the handle is convenient you can put your two fingers in it and you can uh, 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 carry your, your equipment like this it, people like it I like it too once you're done, you actually can leave it on as, you, as, as long as you like. Um, if you want to take it off, you reverse the steps which you have just uh, done. You, you loosen the screw, you move the mount towards the remove marker. Now you have to lift that ring here again over the button compartment. You can do that by, well, well you put your finger in here, you, you pry that open gently, and then once you're at the remove position here, you take the ring off and that's it. The ring, the mount, is now available on Amazon, on eBay, or you can purchase it straight through my webpage stativschellen.de. My tripod mount sells approximately at the half of the price of uh, what, what Sigma charges for its original tripod mount. It holds true for all others and, and for this one as well, you can have it in any, in, any, in any color you would like to have it, in any, any color you wish. And um, I'm quite proud of this design, the lens is stable in it, it is, hold, it is held safely and you will enjoy this. I'm happy to hear from you and I'm happy to send you one. Thank you.